Hi, Year 6. I hope you're having a nice weekend. Um, so, step two, our maths homework this week is to solve word problems. Okay, we've been working on this in class, um, and we have used rucksack to support us when solving our problems. So, this weekend, when you're doing your homework, you must remember to read the question carefully, to underline the important information, choose the correct method of calculation. This is an addition, a subtraction, a division, or a multiplication. To solve the problem, to answer the question, and to check the answer. It's very important when solving these problems, Year 6, that you show me your workings out. In your SATs exam in May, um, you can actually earn marks for your method, so if you're working out. So please make sure you remember to show your working out in your homework book. So, first of all, you need to make sure that you find what information is useful. So if we have a look here, you can see there's a lot of information, but some of it is not useful at all to us. So, for example, John goes to the football match with his dad. That is not going to help us solve the problem. Um, this is the seventh home match of the year. That information isn't useful either, so we don't need to use that when thinking about solving our So, Some information that might be useful would be something like kickoff is at 3 p.m. or the walk from the car park takes 16 minutes. So be very careful that you look for useful and not for useful information in your problems. Here is an example problem for you here. So Sarah saved $263.25 in June and $103.58 in July. Then she bought a TV for $167.20. So how much of her savings from June and July was left? So we've read the question. The next thing we do is we underline the important information. So that would be the two amounts okay, of money that Sarah has saved. Also important is the amount of money it costs for her to buy the TV. Then we want to know how much of her savings are left. Okay, so we can see here clearly that there are two parts to this problem. And you will find this in the questions in your homework. So the first part of the problem that we will solve is we will add together the two amounts that Sarah has saved from June and July. So we would use column addition, okay, of the decimals. And you must make sure your decimal place is in a square of its own. Okay, and we have added together starting from the hundredths column on the right, and we work our way across left using column addition. So, so far, Sarah has saved $366.83. The next part of the problem, it is telling us that she bought a TV. So, we want to know how much is left. So, we then need to use a subtraction. So, we would subtract the amount she has saved from the amount the TV cost her. Again, we are making sure the decimal place is in the same column. We would start from the hundredth column on the right, and we would work our way across left, subtracting all the amounts. For us to then find out how much of the savings Sarah had left, which is $199.63. And we would clearly mark in our homework book the two methods we have used to solve the problem and the answer. Okay? If you have any problems, don't hesitate to send me an email over the weekend set two. Otherwise, good luck in solving all your wood problems, and I will see you on Sunday. Bye!